Terezin, or Theresienstadt in German, located 60 kilometers away from Prague, was a ghetto established by the Nazis for the Jews of the Czech lands and also Central and Western Europe. It was originally established in the 18th century as a garrison town, and during World War I, it functioned as a military prison. The Nazis invaded this region in 1938, renaming it the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia. In late 1941, a ghetto was established in Terezin by the Nazis. Although we refer to it as a ghetto, in reality, it was a concentration camp and a transit camp from which Jews were deported to their death. This fortified town, which was only built to house 7,000 people, at one point held as many as 58,000 Jewish prisoners. More than 150,000 Jews passed through Terezin until its liberation on May 8, 1945. Over 34,000 perished there, and 88,000 were deported by cattle cars to the east to be murdered. For the Nazis, Terezin had an additional purpose. It was to be a great lie, touted to the world as a model ghetto, a good place, a haven, for Jews in war-torn Europe. For propaganda purposes, the Nazis twice tried to portray the ghetto in film. The second film was a result of a visit of the Red Cross in June 1944. To create the illusion of normalcy, Terezin underwent what the Nazis called the Great Beautification. To impress the Red Cross, the route was chosen in advance and locations were carefully staged. The film was never shown. Almost all of its participants were sent to Auschwitz and murdered shortly after the filming. One aspect of Terezin is that many of the Jews sent there were prominent in the fields of culture. Painters, artists, musicians, educators, philosophers, and others. Operas were written in Terezin. Artists painted and drew there. Musicians performed jazz and classical music in front of audiences. Hundreds of lectures on all variety of topics were given to eager listeners. And a library was a cherished source of knowledge and escapism. We see an incredible flourishing of culture and artistic life in the ghetto, even in the shadow of hunger disease, exhaustion, and fear of deportation. Very few photographs exist which portray the actual life of the prisoners in Terezin. One unique source we have is from a group of artists who in the ghetto undertook a secret and dangerous mission to document the true nature of daily life in Terezin. Through their paintings, they portrayed the overcrowded conditions, the hunger, the deprivation, despair, deportations, and the constant presence of brutality and death. Some of these artists paid with their lives. When the Nazis learned of this activity, they were deported eastward to Auschwitz.